instantly to be tested. The ferocious force of the storm in rain gets himself that first headshot. Stewie down. Nico follows and rain just massacres them as they try and run through Cat. Oh, that's beautiful. Rain is so precise. We've come to see that time and time again, and once more delivering a headshot angle behind the barrels that G2 couldn't handle. Such clean shots from Rain. Just has the perfect amount of cover to destroy this G2 attack up short. It was a simple call from G2. And he didn't even get close to the plan. Smart position from Carrigan, considering the low health. He goes into the aggressive play, though, and Stewie will get an opening kill presented by Carrigan. So, G2 out long. Brokey will be the next test here for the T side of G2. He's only got the MP9, and he mows down two with it. Brokey does great work, in fact, to take Nexa and Stewie out of it. And Monacy doesn't have the weapon of choice, so he drops a little bit further back, allows Brokey to walk into him, and Hunter had already moved through short. Really passive round, late long take. And Modesty's gonna take away the rifle at the end of the day. G2 get all five. Okay, behind the blue bay, flash going forward. And, oh, the smoke criminal comes charging right through, but it is just one for Stewie. Yeah, but look at all the space he's created. Kerrigan's gonna get some back. Blinded. Good teamwork from FaZe. Oh, Stewie wanted that second kill so badly. Reigns brought low, but now it gets real tough for G2. Pinned down in pit. More defense has arrived. Rain at a slight off angle with low HP, Ooh. takes a risk, taken down. And now Monacy can get range with that AWP. Yeah, Monacy taking the life of Rain quite swiftly. Brokey peeks into him and Monacy will fall this time at the car. G2 down to two players, 33 seconds remaining in this round and Brokey's come back into the shot. It connects, Kerrigan cleans up and FaZe will turn this into a round victory. Three to one up on the board. Yeah, triple kill from Kerrigan, he's the impact player in the round. Oh, he's going aggressive again. This time, it's Monacy to punish him. Carrigan walks right into the scope. G2 or first blood. But look who's lying in wait. It's Rain, undetected, hiding behind the box. Senses his time to go out, and it's just one kill for Rain. Nico finds him in response, and G2, 4v2. No shot, surely, here for FaZe. So they're into the bomb site, bomb planted, and FaZe will save their weapons. A second round here for G2. Smoke execute up short, drop down from Stewie into the smoke, he comes right through! Rain can't stop him, Frozen has to reply and he'll do so swiftly. Frozen gets that double without issue, but Monacy has to trade it for G2 and does so. Brokey with a big shot, this time through the smoke, and there's 30 seconds left as Carrigan springs his flank. He's done damage on the Monacy, he's left on 8 health, and he'll come right through that double door. Bomb is down for G2, and Monacy position known, and he's waiting for that CT player. He knows he's got one trapped in Brokey. Oh! Monacy looked away, and Brokey gets away with it, so it's all on Nexa. I don't think you'll expect this position. I don't think you'll expect it, or will you, Kerrigan? He's got, he's got another clutch, and G2 has three. Nexa just keeps clutching in Dallas. He did it twice in the opening game in the group stages. Some say that's the only reason they were able to make it this far. And Nexa does it again on the stage. It's absolutely unbelievable. It looked like Carrigan was going to clear him. It looked like Carrigan had that locked in. And a beautiful headshot on the drop down. Covering for any kind of a fight, any kind of a peak that comes. Yeah, Rain just waiting. Now decides to strike around that corner. Couldn't quite get a comfortable fight, but going through the smoke this time is Nico. Cleaned up from Rain, though, inside of the site. And he's having a fantastic game at the moment, Rain. He's up to double figures. And Hunter slipped through the B-bomb side, but it's been checked. Robs will detect it and dink up Hunter in that process. There's still a lot of time, but Bomb is on the other side of the map, and he's taken way too much damage here. And another important round picked up from Rain because it looked like the trading might actually be enough there for G2 to get into the site until Rain put an end to it. I mean, Nico steps through that smoke and gets, goes one for one, gets one kill on two players there. And into this A-bomb site, they will charge. Carrigan forced into Goose. He's got Brokey out long, but for the time being, it's pressure on Carrigan. He's forced into the open, but he's found one spot of safety, one sanctuary spot. Will it work out for Carrigan? Because they do not check for him. They thought it's clear, but Carrigan gets away with a double, and now he's going for all three. He can't stop Monacy. Monacy now switches out to the AK-47. Discards his weapon of choice, but time, time is off the essence. He's now gone for the fake into the headshot. He needs a kill right now. Oh! Monacy with the last second. That's all he had in the pistol. Oh my God, it's just incredible. The switch to the AK, back to the kill right at the end again.
time. Frozen is probably just assuming he's committed to the plan because why wouldn't you with only four seconds left? He's taking his time knowing he'll have the jump, but that is a wonderful find from Modesty. And Kerrigan's gonna have to be really stoic because he had a hell of a round, a hell of a job defending that eight bomb site. And looking for six, Nico. His first point of contact. He's taken out by USP. Stewie looks to clean it up and he'll do so on two. Finally taken back by Rops. But a 2v3 now, and it's quite a lot of damage done from just USPs, Jason. G2 out to try and recover this mess, and Monacy is going through those mid doors. If Frozen hits the shot on the Deagle, if he stops Monacy from getting around this corner, it could be an absolute disaster or on the cards here for G2. Yeah, and I, this is a great play from Rops as well. He fell back directly to middle, knowing the long presence was going to force G2 out mid. Monacy still not yet spotted by that Deagle. Frozen not peeking out, trusting in the crossfire. Now coming. No, oh, he's got one. Monacy ain't getting out of that situation. And FaZe steal one right back that is ridiculous the initial play the usp got the first kill of this round and nico's going to be very frustrated that he was the first player to go down for g2 in this one here it is for brokey and then frozen finds the element of surprise and rops just swings out that smoke there's not a second of hesitation lower to dark stewie's running with this he's going first frozen's got one from the back of the bomb site and nico's waiting for the flank but rops just checks it this guy is just so methodical and he's able to move right through. Modesty and Next have to pull this one back, and they're doing so right now. 2v2 on the cards now again for G2. These rounds are so close, so hard to call. And it's the last shot of this half, so FaZe are going for this retake attempt. And around the back is Carrigan. Coming through the tunnels. Rain is not making any secret about it. He wants to pull that attention away. He wants to set up Carrigan for the chance to come back in from the tunnels, but now he's given away his position. Time will start to tick here for FaZe. They have to clear that side out, and Carrigan and Rain combine. The absolute perfection, the experience will prevail, and it will be a seventh round. What a first half of Counter Strike we've got here. G2 competing against FaZe. Monacy will be at railing to defend, so Stewie's the swing player. Monacy first. And he nails his shot. They cross on by. Monacy a second. Absolutely destroying the attack through short. Nexa keeping them pinned at long. And Stewie gets involved. Stewie comes in with that second headshot. And G2 swing right back. 7-6. Pistol here in the second half goes the way of G2. And they can start to build this CT side up. Oh, that defense worked exactly like design. Oh, no, but the smoke's coming in for CT. It's going to be a B split. This is a perfect maneuver for G2. They've got three players in this B bomb site. They have the perfect positioning to stop FaZe in the final 25 seconds of this round. Nico pops up and he starts to clean up a couple from the back of the car. And now G2 realized there's more than usual inside of this B bomb site. Rops is coming on in. He'll clear out the back of the car, but Nico doesn't stop. And this in game leader battle of Nico versus Carrigan, it's Nico that makes the better call in this round. What well, is meant to be a fake out for the B split, but this time they're committing short and they're going to walk right into Monacy and that shot, it connects. Rain is down. It turns out the most fearsome force of nature in a storm is the lightning and that shot connects without problem. Brokey and Frozen are locked out of this round. 40 seconds still to go, but FaZe just don't have the map control. They don't have the numbers. And G2 are about to get to double figures. Brokey's about to walk into two players waiting for him and Monacy is not missing in this quarterfinal. Frozen is left, and he'll do what he can. Modesty's out in the open, but he's gonna nail it. Oh my god. Third kill for Modesty in the round, and G2's up by three. And they're going with four players towards long right now for G2, and Rain's out first. Molotov flashes all in his face. Rain not in a comfortable spot, but they leap right through. And that's Nexa taking Rain out of play. Rob's to respond, it's two for two. And yet again, we're even. Modesty's here, he just arrived, and Hunter catches one more, and that's actually all the danger. Modesty can slide back because Kerrigan's making a play, but Stewie's got eyes on it as well. Not any longer, and the B bomb site's been opened up. Finally, FaZe have a real chance at putting a round on the board. Yeah, this whole B side of the map is completely up for grabs. That's the risk to G2 run with putting four players at A long early. And we know how difficult it can be to retake this B bomb site. But if they can catch Kerrigan... If they can find him around these doors, then there's a way back into it. But Carrigan's positioning is absolutely perfect. And Monacy is not allowed to retreat. FaZe will find an eighth round and some life. The FaZe are getting ever closer. And they haven't quite detected how many G2 players are currently in position. Nice shot from Rain on that jump up. But it's all G2, baby, with these kills. 
two to put them further into the better position in this round. It's just Robson. and they can't stop this G2. This is 12 rounds, and this is surely dust two. And he hasn't been finding the most amount of success off of his plays as the spear of phase. And Carrigan goes through the middle, barrel spotted. Hunter brings him down with ease. And suddenly it is just three players remaining for FaZe Clan. And they've got a challenge into the flash himself. 24 kills from Monacy. Dinked up. And Nico is there to assist him from down lower. FaZe are not getting into this round. They are not going to be able to find success because the flank of Hunter's through. And G2 cut through FaZe on Dust 2. Map 1 of the quarterfinals. And this unexpected run is into a sprint. For that of his opponents. Stewie2k from heaven, spotting the outside cross and multiple phase players. He's dinked down to one health. Instantly off the back of these initial fights, but it's Nico who is stopping on these CT halves. It's another double. It's time to open up the pistol. Those are huge headshots together. Stewie been forced back. He's got one HP. That was information. That was map control for phase until Nico just rips it out of their hands. The range and the jewel Beretta is fighting heaven with the jewel he's in the easiest position to be in here for Monacy, but he still has that gush. He's got some cover to keep going back into here at Secret, and Monacy able to finish them off. It is so ridiculous, the mechanical skill that this young man possesses, and that is G2 with the pistol round off the back of some spectacular headshots from Monacy and Nico. They would not like to see a downturn in the results in CS2. I think we've kind of been spoiled with expectations when it comes to a team like FaZe, right? It's just their consistency of being at the top for such a long period of time and always being in that conversation. But this round suddenly reopens the conversation because FaZe burst through. They've got two kills. They find themselves ahead on the player count right now. Certainly not in weapons. And Nico makes sure that this one doesn't get out of hand towards outside. Over towards control room, Nico. Will he look the right way? Could be caught here by the Deagle of Brokey. One shot, and it's enough. Right through the glass, right through the eyes. And Nico hits the deck. Phase open up a chance now. Nexa going down the vent. It's going to be risky right into Brokey's Deagle. And he's keeping them distracted. He's keeping them pinned. And Phase now move in together. Brokey even gets away. And it's going to pull Nexa into Robs. The Tech 9 waiting. And Phase are about to pull off a round with pistols alone. Oh, Monacy just comes right back in it again. And it's just Brokey on the other side. Monacy, he is so hard to go up against him once again. He could pull off a ridiculous clutch to push G2 into that 3-0 territory. And oh my goodness, why not? Monacy with another one. Another clutch versus face. Toying with them. 1v3, an awkward 1v3 for Monacy. Yeah, it looked like you know, FaZe have found the position there to, to get the round win. And then Monacy somehow is able to double up so quickly in this position. Just enough damage to catch Frozen before he gets around the back of that cylinder. And then Monacy sinks that final kill. This kid is so clutch. This kill goes the way of G2. It is going to push them further and further into the favorable spot. Robs needs to win this fight for FaZe. Does so as he peeks towards the back of the bomb side. That's Hunter out of there. And with 30 seconds left, Stewie off the top height, off the top rope, slams down the hammer on Brokey and Frozen, and Robs can do nothing about it. And that makes Taz a very happy man. We've talked about Rain and how good he is outside, one of the best players in the world at managing the outside area, but it's Rops who, the same can be said about these door pushes. He gets out, he attacks into the upper bomb site, and he walks away with another. Nico fighting back as he has many a time, but this is much better from FaZe Clan, much more solid. And Stewie's left on the upper bomb site alone, and there's so much time, so FaZe can just slow this down, hit the brakes, and pause. And that is the problem, retaking this lower bomb site. So many angles you've got to worry about. But if he puts the Molotov in place towards Frozen, that would be a free kill instantly. Biggest problem is no smoke to put on the bomb to apply pressure. And he can't find that kill in the open. Brokey slides out. First round for FaZe. Robs is dead first. Nico blinded towards the back of the garage, but he gets behind the box. Rain surely clears a bit timing to look away. Nico peeks out, takes Rain out once again, but he's got a call to G2 that there's some space open. There's something you need to worry about, and that is hell to heaven. Brokey has the bomb. That's the bomb, and it's given on over to Nico. Yeah, so this heaven play might not actually matter from Kerrigan. Oh, he's going to slide out. He sees both, oh. but he can't handle Hunter. What a snapshot. And now Frozen sound cue made. He's made the drop on down. Nico gets the perfect timing again, man. Nico is farming outside. 
And dead again. Back to back rounds. Rops is dead first for face. He's usually so pivotal. I was just saying, he's getting a little bit more frisky at his plays, a little bit more aggressive. Here's Nico. Freebie on the Kerrigan. And walks right into him. Nico is just prowling these smokes. This is his domain. This is his area. And Monacy may be a little bit too emboldened with that push. He's stopped by Brokey Face. Somewhat back into this round now. Nexa needs to be careful. He doesn't lose his life against Rain. Hunter's there to adjust. And Rain will fall. It's down to Brokey and Frozen to try and recover this round for face. 59 seconds, perfect timing, you open up that door. And he was damn close to getting a second, but Brokey's on the hunt back, but the Hunter comes out on top. And he looks to strike right to the chest, and Carrigan's second shot is so damn fast from Monacy. And he is just so clinical today. Third shot won't land, but the damage has been felt, and FaZe have lost too much of that initial pack. Yeah, and even though they've gotten so much space everywhere on the map, oh. it's like, what are you supposed to do? It's a big when shot from Berkey. Modesty takes out two of your players, five on three, and now you can just be so confident. Hunter's got the bomb again. Rain and Rops down in secret. There's nothing to do but wait for Hunter to, or excuse me, Modesty to find you. It feels like the CT side is so fluid from G2 right now. Push and pull and Monacy, no scope. Style points from Monacy, he'll go back and finish it. Gets the job done, that's a 4K. He's up to 12 kills now. The real competition is between him and Nico for who's topping the charts on G2. And Monacy knows he's playing like a badass at the moment. He's giving the crowd a little bit of showmanship at the end of it. He's feeling this off at the moment. There's no energy in FaZe. You know, this is this is Carrigan the showman. This is the FaZe side that thrives on the stage. We aren't seeing anything that's giving them a reason to, to be fired up, to feel comfortable. And Nico now moves into main, which frees up Hunter to play closer towards Squeaky Door. Brokey coming through high. Stewie dodging the flashes. He looks down. Cleans up. Double from Stewie. Finally ripped off the top. But Faze are down to just two players. And Brokey must win here with that eagle. He's got some big shots, but the bomb plant is denied. And now Brokey's left in a 1v3 with the bomb not down. It is hard to see this happening. And Monacy is just so damn fast from heaven. 9-1 to one for G2. And it's the right position, of course it is, and he's got the angle at the perfect moment. Rips off the head of Rops. Oh. Traded back, but Nexa's still here. Yeah, but they're not expecting Nexa to be in this position because the initial shot from Monacy, so Nexa gets out of that with a kill, and he's still alive. Nice shot from Carrigan. Needed to hit that one if FaZe have any shot of this, but here comes Stewie. Here he comes around the back. Carrigan is considering it, but he dodges that fight. He gets around the corner towards Hell. Hunter getting close to his right now, though. He'll begin his pounce. It's a good shot. Frozen defends off Stewie climbing up that ladder, and that is enough now for Hunter to try and back away, but Frozen will deny that save. It is a second round for FaZe. Carrigan hits a really important shot in that ramp room on Nexa. He has had a nightmare half. Two kills to 11 deaths, and Monacy is just shooting everything right now. That shot connects on Carrigan. And look at Carrigan's pathing. He's just like, I can't go up against that. I can't do anything against this AWP. This is what it's been all half. It's been Nico mostly, but the switch up the AWP catches them completely off guard. Well, now they know the AWP isn't in ramp, so they challenge in towards Nexa this time. He's changed up his position. Rob's considering it, but the timing for Nexa, he'll double up and puts them right in his back pocket. And this is a player that gained so much criticism for the G2 squad. But he has had some massive moments in Dallas for G2. And another great round here that should push G2 up to double figures to close out this first half. Frozen and Carrigan will do everything they can. This is G2 as it's designed, even with the stand-in. The engine of Monacy and Nico providing so much power. Role players stepping up when called upon. Hunter having a good game. Nexa doing a fantastic job in ramp room. And Frozen's gonna go down last. It's 10 to two. G2 O is looking likely. And they might just complete it after the break. Monacy has scared him off and given so much space to G2. Brokey's hit a timing though. Brokey's pushing lobby right now to flank out towards ramp room. Rops has backed off completely, which leaves Kerrigan isolated on his own, and Rops can only get the one. Rain inside of the side, waiting for them to come over the top of heaven. He keeps himself tucked away, and Brokey comes back into the lobby. Nico's there to stop him, and Rain can't do anything about this G2 onslaught. G2 is getting closer and closer to the semifinals. There's not enough room to lose pistol rounds in your face. And FaZe will fight to the end. 
But that end might be coming closer than you think. Next up, good headshot on Robs. That draws the first kill in favor of G2. Rain is going to try and stop them from running into May, but you can't stop Stewie. Hunter follows up. Now Carrigan inside of the lobby. He goes down, and Brokey is left in an impossible fight. It is 12 rounds for G2. It is map point for G2, and it is semi-final point for G2. They are so close to getting this job done. from G2 in these quarterfinals. Some of the sharpest stars. And Rops looking to defend this ramp play. Nexa charging towards him. They just run right through and they run all the way. G2, two kills away. They're so prepared for everything. They're so prepared for every push, every reaction. G2 with a stand-in has hit a flow state that FaZe can't handle. And that's it. G2 in the semifinals of IEM Dallas. What an incredible, incredible showing from this G2 side. They come here without no one, no one dropped. Yeah, and waste of resources. Does target flames at the back of the site, and with Apex and Flames combined, they found the opening. Look at this top site defense. Apex has found a pair of frags. Spinks posts another onto Nerds, and just like that, a perfect, flawless pistol takes shape for Vitality. That looked way too easy. Or, or smoke something outside Insta. It's kind of funny that Shusha's even still alive, to be honest. Yeah, it's still going to be five alive for Vitality, so in terms of strong starts, there's step one. Yard smokes as well, trying to create as many possibilities. It looks lobby crunchy. And, oh, Zywoo catches flak immediately. Good work from Shush, but the trade is there. Mezzi, he takes that opportunity during the distraction to try and burrow deeper into HUD. Those outside smokes, they are occupied behind. Lots of moving pieces in this, and Mezzi does well onto Nerds. Looks great for Vitality at this point already, dealing with the initial threat. Oh, uh, can I have a knife and fork, please? I'd can. like to eat my word. Yeah. He was prepared, yeah, and it's a beautiful... Wow, this is almost flawless so far from Vitality. A grand total of two frags. Yeah, Apex are trying to sell something. Actually, with an aggressive flash, they push it. Saiwu! <laughs> oh, double kill! Tessus needs something, finally brings down the beast, but damage is done. Now Apex can put the Jerry on top as he finds Silo. Tessus will trade. Competitive rounds taking shape, but just as I say that, Nerds trying to maneuver through that squeaky smoke, trying to find space on main. Gostum is live, Tessus, he's noted, he's half health or less. 30 HP for him to try and piece this together, and they're going to double swing. Multiple elevations, no hope. Yeah, I guess to stay alive in between the flames and the smoke. Out squeaky he goes. Top pop and entry kills there. Oh, never mind. One, he gets both. Mezzi, full flash. That's Nikonos the bomb in the Tessus. red. Oh. What's happened there? A blunder. Yeah, what a blunder. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Henry G proud. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This suddenly becomes very uncomfortable. All of that hard work from Nerds, and now you still feel like you're on the back foot. I would. It's oh. caught, so it gives one back. Uh, 2v4 situation. Apex threw the smoke towards the vent. I'm not sure exactly how... Yeah, it's spread over the bomb. Ready for this duel. And Tessus clean with it. So despite Shush's uh, blunder, doesn't look like it's going to come back to haunt him too much. I say that. Maybe oh, Flames! Oh. <laughs> A good attempt, but there's Heroic getting themselves their first. Perfect. They seem wow. to be cognizant of it. Nerds is aware, aware, but he still loses out the duel. And they're just baiting each other. Let Mezzi play. Now Shush low. There's the trade. And we've got ourselves a sick. Wow, this CT side out of Vitality seems rather inspired. Very aggressive, very nonchalant. Look at them. They're all just searching, wanting to fight. And this time it's working out for Heroic. I'm sure that must have been some of the communications they had. It's like, boys, just hold, hold your hand. They're coming for you. They will give you these fights. And, ooh, a second from Zyra. We're going to change the dynamic. But despite all of that damage dealt by Flames, that's the most convincing round we'll see from Heroic. That bomb's going to be heading into the site. And now Flames is at least hit. And, oh, well, his teammate's gone. Zyra just got deleted by nerds. And that's an important duel to win. Flames, a good one. Mezzi, the shotgun. Finds kicks in. Oh, what a push from Apex. Nerds. They have no idea about nerds. He slipped the gap. Yeah, you can see Flames getting hunted down here. Apex, however, good for it. Tessus down. Oh, what? Nerds, 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 what? What? <laughs> Was that just a no? How, how could he not know he wasn't open? Comms? But he... 
I think there must have been some stress in, in TeamSpeak because uh, I think his teammates kind of might feel like he sold them in, in some way. Roughly 45 seconds left on the clock. He's going to die to the flank. Mezzi will make sure of that. And that was the round to break the finances of Vitaly. That was an extremely important round for Heroic as far as this half is concerned. Apex doubling up with Sphinx. Are they going to go for a re -clear? I think they have to because the pressure towards Hell and Heaven based right. on the main smoke. So they need to search. And you'd send Apex first because normally the Yard Rifler flames you with a good mm. timing. But a great shot from Nikodos. Nikodos strong on the AK as well. We know that. Shadow betrays. It does get traded. The Church bomb. bomb. Oh, he saved himself. What? How has he found that shot? Apex unable to provide the trade. Now Shush with a bomb. Messi down the vents, forced it out wide by the flames. One versus three for the Brit. And he misses his first opportunity. Nikodos does manage to get away to reposition. And we, as we discussed, the finances, they are not so, not so positive. Man, Shush, he, he's come to the stage and he's come to play. You know, in the absence of the top performer of this tournament so far, Tessus with just three so far. It's Shush, who seems to be very comfortable in front of the lights, in front of the crowd. And now Apex, he's, he's on the hunt. It. He wants more. He's got a man advantage, but still, now spotted out in the vents flames. Throws out his incendiary. He's getting run down. This? Yeah, that's mad aggression from Shush. But it does boil down to a 30-second 3v3. Zywu in the vents. An MP9. Messi to join him. This is so <laughs> uncomfortable. This oh is God. so uncomfortable. Down they go. Tessus finds Messi. They, yeah, on 5 HP. Oh my God, if Zywa was to get it, Nikodos has saved them. 18 seconds looking to pivot. Oh, oh come God. on, Apex. He's feeling himself right now. A triple. Bomb is going up. Uh, he's going to be able to recover a rifle, but surely this favors Nikodos oh, in he's every way, w, shape and form. He's holding W. He's going to fly up this with a flash. Surely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, they put Apex on ice. What a crazy round. All the shenanigans in the vent. It's a banger shot from Apex. The in-game leader, 14 kills to his name. Yeah, he doesn't want to have a slow start. He's having a cracking start. Oh, bang. He was just constantly searching yard, just like strafe and jiggling, looking for all the jewels. This is hilarious that he's tried to, I guess, flex on Nikodos in that way, but hey. Yeah, they're so segregated as well. Smoked off main, his options. Very limited. Flames has actually cleared out heaven. That right, changes what? things. That changes things completely. Mezzi now knows he's got the green lights coming from heaven. They can just barrage through. It's going to be bodies. Just throwing bodies at the problem. Good molly. Tessus, solid. Kicks and finds flames. And it's only Mezzi with that recovered AK. A nice first. Clearing the vents. Doesn't have the precision. Kicks and closes. Heroic recover. It started bleak, but three on the trot to close. A 7-5 half. It's a tough one. We're going to drop main here with these flashes. Oh no, no flashes, just jump around, oh, fight towards okay. single, and they've blown the pistol round wide open. <gasps> Who needs utility when you can do headshots, actually? Mezzi's having a great time. What was the go signal for that? There is no way. Tessus, Tessus is clear in lobby. Shush is trying to, yeah, hold on to the heavens, but he is going to be found by Shush, by Flames. The Tessus 1v4. I mean, they're giving him the duels. They are certainly giving him the opportunity. The bomb's gotten across. So it will okay. goes down. Flames gets he a bit more nervous now. He knows where he is. He's clearing him out. Can isolate the jewel? If he'd have found the head, could have fallen apart. But there it is. Vitality, they will convert the T-side pistol. Tessus can swing to try and find the trade. Zywu anticipates with the Molotov. Forces him into the fight. Big jewel to be taken. Nikodos oh has actually saved them. A double kill on both. Ramp is no longer there under their control. Apex has swung open the door, but Sphinx, he's not ready for this call. Through the squeaky door, it all falls to Apex. And for him, he's just been watching that kill feed. Now he shakes his head, he cuts his tongue. He's like, lads. Door still closed. Options are aplenty. That's oh the first of the 1v3. <laughs> is Apex cooking up trouble here? Playing around those doors. He knows he's planted Astralis. He's going to call the bluff on the first fake. Kicks in holding it now. He needs to be able to isolate this jewel. Cross their placement. No. Little late for Apex. A second too late. <laughs> Otherwise, that's a 1v3 right there for the taking. Great attempt. He's screwed, surely. So exposed. Does. Now does he adjust? Adjust for a second. Apex good for the trade. Sorrel three. Info. They're coming in towards Kicks and This is a hard clear. They don't do it properly. Apex does go down. Still the bomb. In scooped up by Mezzi, Nikodos having to come up. The smoke, however, does facilitate it. Knows where Mezzi is. But not going to clear out Zywu. Another vitality round off the back of the timeout. Apex very happy with that one. Money broken for Heroic. Oh dear. I mean, they rotated it through vents. That's an important frag. Something to work with.
Just going to try and walk out hard, and this over-rotation is really going to work against Heroic. Yeah, I mean, unless Nerds can do it all. He has just pit the gap! The jump from Ezzy gets the info. An important spot Slipping on Nerd. Dixon especially, yeah, onto Mezzi. They definitely have got the opportunity here. And Dixon, he closes it down. Triple kill, Heroic putting up a fight. Two opportunities with the Hero Rifle, yet to post a frag. Apex deals with the Lobby Crunch at the loss of Sphinx. Oh, oh no God. way! He bursts Nurse to the face! It's a 2v2, folks. Yeah, They've got the bomb on Apex. Top side's taken. Tessus spotted out. Zywoo. Struggling to find the lethality. Oh, it has to be Apex. He can't do it. Nikodos has saved them. Despite his best efforts. What a crazy round. Still, two rounds is all that separates Vitality from starting off this quarterfinal with their opponent's map pick. Fighting Yard. Heavy CT presence here. And of course, of course he has Apex continuing to chase that 2KD. Around the smoke, kicks and exposed and beheaded. Apex on the warpath, 21 and one counting. More. He's dialed in. Locked in. Unbelievable form we're seeing here. Countering him time and time again, or at least finding those fights. They might lose everything here. The chase towards CT. Time of the bomb about to go off, but the fights are coming regardless. Shush, can he hold on to this? I don't think so. Oh, it's all gone by one. Nikodos, the only one lucky enough to bring a rifle through to the next. They are in trouble. They are on the ropes. Flash into May. Testing Sphinx. He gets himself the first and important integral trade from Shush. Can they survive the night? 3v3. This fight is everything for Nerds. He needs one. Delivers it. Bomb spotted. Zywoo alive. Apex and Zywoo again to close out and secure Heroic's map pick. Oh, not ready at all. Back of his head. Shush goes down. And Tessus, he's noted. This gets even harder now for the Dane. Looking to come up clutch is Tessus. Isolating these jewels one by one. Does adjust into Apex. The clutch is on. A time-sensitive mission swings through. One more bullet. He can't do it. And Zywu closes. Heroic picking Nuke. And they fall to Team Vitality. Apex, he's in four. And that's not gone well for Nikodos. Apex starts as he continues to do damage, nearly taking kicks and down on his own. It's Zywoo that snatches that away. Zywoo repositions. He spots no out the short me. aggress. They suspect it's only Shush here. He has got a lot to do now on the window position. They're charging into his location, tries to be poised, and nails the first onto Sphinx. A second compulsory frag from Shush. Keeps it interesting. Zywoo, oh, however, no. on the flank, and he does spot one. He spots them both. <laughs> Nerds down, pushing the smoke. Tessus unable to provide the second, adjusting to Mezzi. And Vitality, they'll take another. Is that three pistols now? Yes, indeed. Uh, keeping up these strong starts uh, in line with what you were mentioning Apex was talking about. So, shot posted. Mezzi, an important one. They need to be getting that bomb down. That's priority number one. Flames tasked with doing so. Shush trying to take long range jewels. The bomb does go down. Still threatening. Tessus has found Mezzi. Nikodos' scout connecting as well. Sphinx the late piece from short. They're back to turn. Flames! Three, three he was trying to delay. A disadvantage now. Heroic, they're very low. Sphinx's flank is good for one. Uncomfortable for Sphinx. That bomb is ticking in his favor, though. And look at the health. This long-range MAC-10 could work. The I'm flash, he set himself up for it. Needs to get across. Spotted out on the ramp. They need to provide some covering fire. They're defusing. They're defusing! And Heroic take it! Wow. <laughs> that is a crazy round to pull off. And surely this is luxury now for Vitality, knowing you've got full short control at 1 minute 26. I imagine that gives you some freedom oh. for your calls. I mean, it's, a, it's not a good feeling for CTs anyway. I mean, you win the round and you know the rebuy is going to come in and they got bomb plants. So uh, I feel like he's having a, a pretty unlucky uh, series so far. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, Just swing it. Short-lived celebrations for Heroic. Well, this is worse. The, yeah. Their force man into the next will only be with 1400. Got Zywe coming through upper tunnels. Oh, he's dead. Chad, I'm calling now. Okay. Look, look, at the right, right. look at the mini map. He's in so much trouble. They're coming from every angle. Shush is going to have to fight his way out of here. Yeah, not to be. An upgrade found. Thank you very much. They come into that third round. That low HP on flames. He's taking more risks. Spamming the smokes. And down goes Kixon. Oh, it's flawless. Amezi double secures the round. And now Vitality making a 50 round a reality. 
Yeah, I think that's an undervalued uh, feature as well as that the, the HE is deafening you for so long that Tess is empty handed. A nice opening kill, and they've got 60 seconds to piece together the finish. Sphinx testing mid actually catches out Nerds. There's he, very composed there, finishes off the spray onto Kicks, and, and that Nikodos Orp gets nothing done. Apex will find him. It's so comfortable for Vitality right now. He got to fire one bullet. He invested all that money, one bullet, yeah. round over. No fun. This is a free beef bomb site. This is this is round ten of the game. Nerds has just been just, tagged. Yeah. <laughs> What's oh going on? My goodness, it's two one sided right now. This is almost starting to look illegal. Leave heroic alone. Oh Kickson uh, is on one versus three. He's done well to find Apex, but oh! Well, they're giving him a way back in by fighting him. Yeah. Can Kickson have the clutch to ignite something for heroic flames? Hobbs for bricks. Kickson. 15 bullets to win out this duel. Oh, and now he does the info. It's flames to close. Even when he has a go. Even when they put up a, a mild fight, a ninth round already secured for Vitality. This is, is just running away from Heroic. They, they haven't got anything to celebrate. Hang on, let's go to some action. Yeah. Yeah. He's first. He's done it. And down. Well, that was the action. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there might be more. This is where <laughs> Yeah, look at Perfect placement. Of the crosshair onto Mezzi, retreating down lower. Makes it a 3v3. Open right now. Ouch. Damn, Sphinx looking good. Catches the kicks in the grass. B side's clear. Yeah. I feel like they have good, good info on this. Oh, it's ah, too just so easy. <laughs> the fight's not even like labored at all. It's like, oh, they like, walk yeah. out, you're dead. I don't feel like I'm necessary here right now, you ah. know? Like, it's just, it's going one way or one way fast. Nika Doss. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, guys! <laughs> I thought they were going yeah. for the knife. No, they wanted to play knifey spoony. Oh, this is punishment now. Well timed. Yeah, that's going to force him to push through. Have to go. Oh, big frag from Kicks, and he doubles up, doing everything within his power. He's going to go down to the Tech Nine. Still uncomfortable now. Zaiwu gone. That becomes a second round for Heroic at the end of the half. Apex, nothing for him to do here. Getting caught from behind. 10 seconds. Yeah, he's not going to even be able to get to the bomb site in time. Nikodos and Nerds just trying to play for their lives. There is the second. It's it's something for Heroic. As he's spotting them moving. Lots of utility invested into this one. What have you got, Heroic? Can you give us anything to hold on to? A little bit of hope for Heroic. Nerds finds himself the first. Flames, he's been overlooked. Oh my god. Very active. Oh, wow. No one knows, no one's looking. He unloads the jewel Barretas, oh. and ladies and gentlemen, this one's surely done now. <laughs> Flames having a great time. It just like, it just shows how calm they are. Yeah. Even from the voice comms that we could see, very calm. And, and there's only one player really giving the precise info and everyone else is just focused on their play. You can see how the whole CD side slowed down to let Flames make this this move, and then they, they acted when he made contact. Look at this, this cowboy in Dallas. I can't believe he's just used their own Lurk smoke against them like that. Like, he's there to... Re we saw him going to Laura at the start of the round, but the fact that he's been able to respond to that in that time... Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, they can only really go there. Maybe Anubis? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, well, swings for the double. Traded back by Nikodos, a 3v3. Nerds to try and find a bit of a timing out towards A, but gets Whoa. absolutely destroyed. A4 to the face. Just trucked. Come on in. Oh, the water's warm. Gosh, gonna get a rude shock. A splash of MP9 bullets finds him. That's because they saw two on the ramp, right? And just thought, all right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, well. She just had to gamble that yeah. the, the B player went towards mid to pick up for Sphinx being dead. Exceeded everybody's expectations here in Dallas to make it to the playoffs. Sphinx looking to do what yeah, the crowd requests. The finale. Yeah, the grand finale. Charging up middle. Apex is sending Shush and Tessus to an early grave and an exit in the quarterfinals for Heroic Imminent. Down goes Nerds, empty handed. It's Nikodos versus five. And a Vitality scoreline. This is a quick speed run of a quarterfinal. Vitality knock them out. It's a party for Apex, Vitality, securing it in two, and we get the opportunity to see the very first head-to-head -head between Zywu and Donk at the 100th IEM.